about social distancing, a couple used both sides of the U.S. border with Canada to hold their wedding. How cool is this? So they got married on a pier in Canada, surrounded by about 50 guests, while another 15 people watched from the other side of the river in Maine. So their grandparents watched from a boat in the middle of the water. Right now, the U.S.-Canada border is closed to non-essential travel because of the pandemic. The bride and groom said they didn't want to wait for the pandemic to end before beginning their lives as a married couple. Aww, that's that's great. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. And forget nine lives, a 2,000-year-old cat was discovered in Peru. Come take nice. a peek at this. Archaeologists just unearthed this huge feline figure that was carved into a hillside more than 2,000 years ago. Look at that. The ancient geoglyph, which measures about 121 feet across, forms part of the Nazca Lines, which is a collection of hundreds of mysterious artworks that was etched onto that plateau you saw 250 miles south of Lima, Peru. Now, scientists say they believe the cat, as the other Nazca animal figures, was created by making depressions in the desert floor, and then it kind of left that colored earth exposed. That's why it's still there. Archaeologists say the cat is from the late Paracas area, which era, which was from 500 BC to 200 AD. Isn't that nuts? That's well, really I, cool. I have like so many questions. I know. Like, it looks like, like, how did the rain not wash it away? Like, um, why did it take so long yeah. to discover? Because it? it looks big. Right. It's huge. Yeah, 121 feet, and it looks like a child drew it. Right. It does, yeah. It's <laughs> something Daniela drew. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, the list is out of, of the radiest cities in America, and San Diego didn't do so well. We did not make the top 10, so that's good news. But for the first time, San Diego broke into the top 20 as the 19th radiest city in America. Congrats, mm -hmm. I guess. That's up 13 spots from last year. That's because people are not cleaning our freeways. Have you not noticed? Uh -huh. Come on. The list comes from pest control company Orkin, and it's based on the number of new rodent treatments. The top spot goes to Chicago. Yes, yes, my hometown for the sixth year in a row, I can attest. L.A. was second, followed by New York. Well, those are all big cities, so it makes sense. Now